Hello my classy people, how y'all doing? Wayne Bolden from the Speed King channel. That's right, it's Tuesday evening. We're here to take a look at a grade three stake race at Oakland Park, one of two on Saturday. But this is race number seven and it is the old man grade three Whitmore Stakes. Ah, oh, what an awesome horse Whitmore was. Gave us a lot of thrills. The Whitmore Stakes is six furlongs, of course. He was an outstanding sprinter for 200,000, going six panels, of course, for four-year-olds and up. As always, please turn on your closed capture. That way you can see the dialogue. And as always, if you need to get a hold of us, you can email us at speedking24 at yahoo.com. Speedking24 at yahoo.com. Well... The old Whitmore Stakes, seventh race, I have a very, very strong opinion in here. One of my uh, female trainers that I've been following, following of course, uh, is in this race, and, you know, we're going to land on her. But I'm going to run through the field real quick, fast, and in a hurry in the Whitmore. The number one horse, no shirt, no shoes. Well, this horse is by Shackleford. 17 starts, 5 wins. That's nothing to really sneeze at. Mr. Anderson is our trainer. Garcia is in the arms. Now, I mean, this horse would beat by the 9 horse in this race, Hollis, last time. But, again, no shirt, no shoes. Did run second to him. Earned a decent speed figure that time. He was 14 to ones uh, for sure in here. And I'm not that high on no shirt, no shoes in this spot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and look past him. But again, if you want to use this horse underneath, he is 12 to 1 on the morning line. I'm not mad at you. He does run late the last 70 yards. So if you're playing tries and exact, there's no shirt, no shoes. That may be a very big price. Could round out a nice trifecta for you. I'm going to throw him out. The number two horse, Bob's Edge. Well, Bob's Edge to me is over, um, is an uh, underlay in here, five to two on the morning line. And again, I thought that was pretty, you know, short for Bob's Edge. I mean, he has no big edge in this here race. I mean, Bob's Edge uh, is a gelding four-year-old, did win five starts from 12, uh, five wins from 12 starts. And you can't really shake a stick at that. That's pretty good. And uh, Mr. Larry Jones is our trainer, and you know what he does out in the Midwest. He's a very decent trainer. Haven't been doing that good this year with only 12%. But I thought Bob's Edge was a serious underlay on the morning line at 5-2. to two. I mean, I don't like him at all in this spot. So, again, I mean, he runs fairly decent. He's always in the money. He did win 5 for 12. So it's pretty hard to knock the competitive edge uh gelding in this spot four-year-old this is his second race off the layoff he won his last race which was a stake race on the 29th of january the king cotton stakes right here at oakland and uh earned a decent speed figure so i guess i can see why they made him five to two but i'm gonna look past bob's edge in here and uh hope that uh he doesn't beat me i don't like him particularly at five to two there's no value there for me and he's no better or worse than the rest of them in here the number three horse, well, here's a horse that I'm telling you right now, this horse is, is just a very, very hard-hitting horse. And everybody know Greeley and Ben. Greeley and Ben is such a, such a nice horse that, you know, it's pretty hard to shake a stick at him, you know. This horse wins a ton of races. Uh, his current record is 19 wins from 30 starts. This is the number three, Greeley and Ben, with five seconds. 19 wins from 30 starts. That is fantastic. This horse was riding a seven-game winning streak. And guess who's the trainer? Carl Broberg, right? And, I mean, Carl did a fantastic job with this horse, uh, Greeley and Ben. And, obviously, is a huge, huge threat in this race to win it all. The number three, Greeley and Ben, I don't have to tell you, and he's, that's what's strange is that this horse is 9-2 to two and Bob Edge is 5-2. to two. I don't understand that. To me, the number three, Greeley and Ben, is so much better than Bob's Edge that it's, it's crazy. I wouldn't leave Bob's Edge off. I mean, I wouldn't leave Greeley and Ben off of my ticket in the win hole. This horse is a serious win contender in this spot, the number three. 
The number four, well, knee deep in snow. That's the last thing we need on the Jersey Shore as we head towards the spring and the summer. Well, the number four is knee deep in snow, and he's a little deeper than I think, okay? Knee deep in snow has four wins from 19 starts, trained by the money-making Mike Maker making, what, plenty of money, eh? And so, you know, Mike can get these things flat out done. But guess who beat him last time on the 30th of January at Sam Houston? That's right, Greeley and Bid, the one who don't do nothing but what? Get his picture taken. I don't like uh, knee deep in snow in this spot at all. I'm going to go ahead and throw Mike Maker's horse to number four, knee deep in snow, off the ticket. Well, a Tuca, a Tuca, a Tuca, the number five horse. I'm telling you, I mean, I wasn't crazy about this horse, but I kept looking and looking and two back. This horse got a beautiful, beautiful speed figure. And I'm telling you right now, and I wouldn't be mad at you if you end up using this horse. It is the coach, uh, uh, Tuca, uh, 21 starts, three wins. Uh, D. Wayne Lucas is our trainer of record. Of course, uh, Contreras is in the arms. That's who Lucas uh you know, uses coming out of an allowance race to horses, a mid-pack, closing-type horse. Speed figures are a cut below. But the one-two back on February 19th, I mean, might get the job done in here. Even though he was beat by the number six horse, Royal Dahar, who we will talk about in the next one. But again, you can't pick them all. I'm going to throw the number five, uh, Tuco, off the ticket here. D. Wayne Lucas and him. And Terraris. The number six we just mentioned beating Atuko. Uh, the number six, Royal Dahar. Uh, 18 starts, four wins, three seconds, and three thirds. That's not bad. DeVito is, uh, DeVito is our trainer of record. This horse earned a beautiful, beautiful speed figure, and I do not understand why this horse is 10 to 1. This horse would probably be my second or third pick, the number six, Royal Dahar. I like this horse a bunch in this spot. The speed figures are comparable. Came out of. Uh, you know, a very nice allowance race on February 19th. Already beat the 5 of Tuca, uh, Lucas's horse. And at 10 to 1, the number 6 of Royal Dahar is a very, very nice play in here. Well, 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 I've located me the number 7 horse. I mean, two lane Tris. Two lane Tris, uh, the number 7, is trained by a tremendous, tremendous uh, trainer, female trainer. Uh, Cherie Duvall. Uh, of course, you all know I follow all our female trainers and jockeys trying to get to playing field level. You know, the likes of uh, Victoria Oliver and, of course, Valerie Ludd, who's a friend of the channels here, and Linda Rice, and, of course, Brittany Russell. And we always want to get to playing field level. But I tell you right now, Cherie Duvall is an extreme extremely nice trainer, extremely talented. She was an assistant to uh, Chad Brown for a couple of years. She struck out on her own about two or three years ago. And her husband uh, is a bloodstock agent who has a lot of influence in the industry. I think his name is David in, in, in Gorgo, in Gordo, in Gordo, I believe, David in Gordo. And uh, they have the number seven horse here, Tulane Twist, uh, Trisk. True Lane Triss. And the number seven is going to be my top pick and my best bet here. The horse has seven stars, three wins in two seconds. This Kentucky bred is by Into Mischief and is owned actually by uh, Cherie's husband, David in, in, Triss, in Gar, Gardo. David in Gargo. In Gardo. David in Gargo. That's her husband. They own this horse by, that's by Into Mischief. And on the back end, by Congrats. And again, three wins from seven starts. The horse came out as a four-year-old on the 10th of February in an allowance uh, at Fairgrounds and blew him away. Now stepping into a grade three. And I think uh, Cherie only has one grade three or one graded race to her credit as a win. And I think she's going to get a second one here. The horse is nine to two, Trelane Trisk. And I believe with Brian Hernandez up. And she's just an extremely talented lady. And she has the backing, which a lot of our uh, female trainers don't. She's well connected, obviously, having worked for uh, Chad Brown. And her husband uh, knows a lot, a lot of people. I think he was in with Bobby Franco and stuff like that. And uh, he's a well-respected man, David is, throughout the industry, her husband. And um, I think this is going to be the young lady 
that's probably going to put the women on a national scene winning grade one, grade two races, and maybe some of even the classics. But keep an eye on her. You probably already know her. She's been doing it for about two or three years. Cherie Duvall, very, very talented. I have a watch on her. I know when all her horses are running, as I do with all of our trainer, the Luds and uh, uh, Olivia uh, Oliver and, um, of course, Brittany and Linda Rice. But this lady, to me, Duvall, is going to be the lady that put the women on the national scene in terms of grade ones and making the playing field equal. Check her out, Cherie Duvall, big, big uh, favorite of mine, and I expect big things from her, and I mean big, big things, right? I mean Breeders' Cup and Derby type things, you know? And I love this horse tomorrow, uh, on Saturday, excuse me, Trelane Trisk, like I said, by Into Mischief, and is owned by her husband. I love this horse a whole bunch, the number seven, and nine to two is not hard to take. The number eight horse, Heart Rhythm. Well, here's another horse that's 15 to one. I employ you not to leave the number eight horse from underneath. The number six, uh, Royal Dahar and the number eight, both 10 to one and 15 to one. Six, eight, do not leave those horses off your exactas and tries, whatever you do. And Heart Rhythm, the number eight, has four wins from 15 starts, five seconds and four thirds. And Duncan is our trainer and you got Franco in the arms. The horse speed figures are okay. Coming off a beautiful win. I like this horse underneath, the number eight. Heart rhythm for sure. And the last horse in the race is the co-favorite, Hollis. Don't like the fact that he's way outside, but that really shouldn't matter. It's a sprint. And actually, I like my horses outside that's got blazing speed. And it's got uh, Rafael Santana up, Jr. up. And this is probably the horse to beat if anybody in the race is. So the number nine, just like Greeley and Ben, the number three is a serious win contender. So there it is in the old man with more stakes, right? A field of nine on Saturday. It's race number seven. And I'm going to be touting my girl there, Cherie Duvall, as always, right? Tulane Trist, right? I like this horse a whole bunch. And I think the two allowance races set this uh, horse up for a grade three with Brian Hernandez. And it's going to be my best bet. And my second pick in here, I mean, it's very, very hard not to use the number three horse, Greeley and Ben, who actually runs fairly 19 starts from 30 wins, is going to be my second pick. And I would be remiss if I did not put the number six horse, Rural Dahar, at 10 to 1 underneath, as well as the number eight heart rhythm. But I really don't care. I'm going to be betting the number seven horse, Trulane Trisk, and my girl, Cherie. That's right. The ball. Right, So we love the number seven. It's my best bet. I'm going to actually put a nice win ticket in here and probably use a 683 underneath in my tries and, and exactas. Let me know. Tell me what you know about uh, my girl, um, Cherie uh, Duvall, and how classy she is. And I think she's going to be yanking down some great races, y'all. Just watch and see over the next couple years. We follow her and we follow her like we do all of our... Uh, uh, female trainers and jocks, right? We always pull for the underdog for sure, and uh, we are big on getting our female ladies, uh, uh, trainers and jocks on an even playing field. Let's go, Cherie. We, you can bring down the Whitmore, as always. Stay classy, y'all. My top pick, seven, three, six, in that order, and the eight, I think, is an underneath horse. For sure, we love the seven. True Lane Trisk, for sure, with Cherie. The ball. Stay classy in everything you do, y'all.